breaking news right now from Bellevue, where a fire has damaged multiple units at an apartment complex and displaced several people. They tell us that flames were seen overnight at the Avana Lexington Apartments on Old Hickory Boulevard. That's just down the road from I-40. Tony Sloan joins us live with what we know so far. So, Tony, what are firefighters telling you? Well, they're telling us that this is not the way anyone would want to start the morning here. Now, we have been told to leave the property, but what you see behind me is not at all the active scene that we saw when we were inside the complex just literally moments ago. We counted more than 15 firefighter vehicles that responded to the scene and are still actively inside working on a fire that crews say resulted in a partial building collapse and flooding. Take a look at this scene here before we had to leave the property. Crews arrived to the scene around 1.30 this morning where they say they were met with heavy smoke and flames coming from the third level of one of the unit's balconies. They say someone was outside yelling that the apartment was on fire when they called it in. There are people who are displaced at the moment due to the damage. So right now, crews are working to get in touch with property management to find out if there are any units that can accommodate some of those residents who don't have a home. But so far, they've only been able to get in touch with a company that's out of state. The good news is no one is unaccounted for at this moment. There are no injuries that the fire department is reporting, but crews say it was a scary start to the morning. It was a pretty intense scene. There are a lot of occupants who are here and asleep at this time of morning. Um, so to awaken to the smell of smoke, uh, the sounds of fire, and in this case, a partial building collapse is pretty scary. And those crews are still on this scene as we speak here. We've been outside of the apartment. We haven't seen any of those crews uh, leave, but they say the Red Cross is on the way to help residents in any way that they can. As far as a cause, they say fire investigators are on the scene, but with the integrity of the building being compromised, it'll be hard for them to get inside and to determine a cause. They're taking witness statements to see which unit the fire started in, and then from there, they'll get a determination. But one thing that's interesting here is the fire department says they're really begging people to not smoke on their balcony, grill on the balcony, or anything that could add to the fire load of things that can burn. But they say a very sad situation here. Of course, the investigation is still on the way. We'll keep you updated on what we learn.